So looking at the marginalist principle, we know that if you're a consumer, if you're a producer, if you're the government, all three are applicable. Eh? So <clears throat> the consumer wants to consume up to the point where MPB equals M MPC. Same thing for the con uh, for producers, okay? Whereas this is what the government wants, okay? So as part of the marginalist principle, you are always going to think of the SCP framework, okay? So SCP framework I went through with you before, and I talked about how to do this for consumers, how to do this for producers. If you want, you can extend to the to the government as well, okay? Uh, there's a video in your in YouTube, okay, covering this. So SCP, P means you have to poke the equilibrium, right? So poking equilibrium means you need to say what happens if marginal private benefits is higher than marginal private costs? Or what happens when marginal private costs is higher than marginal private benefit? Okay, so that kind of uh, explanation is very theoretical. It's very rehearsed. It's like you're explaining a framework. Now, there's also another aspect to decision making, UBCC. So you're probably familiar with UBCC in the sense it's about benefits, it's about costs, it's about constraints. Okay, and finally, unintended consequences. So we went through UBCC last week. If you recall, we had UBCC versus yo-yo, you're on your own. Okay, so there were three questions from the ACJC prelims, which involved decision making. But now, okay, I would like to tell you what's the difference between questions on the marginalist principle and UBCC. Okay, so if I compare the two, let's say this is one, this is two. When do you use SCP? And when do you use UBCC? Okay, one is for more, okay, granular decisions. When I say more granular, I'm also saying it's more incremental. It's not a once-off. Okay, examples. How much of a good to consume? How much of a good to produce? How much of a good to allow to be transacted? Of course, the third one is from a government's perspective, right? The government is the one that comes in to say, ah, oh, this is allowed or this is not allowed, okay? <coughs> so, <clears throat> examples, they could ask you um, to explain how a rational producer, okay, decides, or how a rational consumer decides on the amount of chicken rice, okay, of chicken rice to produce or to consume. <clears throat> so in that case, okay, for the case of uh, consumers and producers, you can start looking at, oh, when you're consuming something, there's going to be marginal private costs, there's going to be marginal private benefit, okay. So SCP explains this. If you're not sure about this, uh, you can check with uh, me. You can text me. I'll send you the video. Okay. So typically we say, oh, for consumers, MPB is falling because of law of diminishing marginal utility. MPC is rising because of law of increasing up cost. Then for producer, MPB is falling because of law of demand. MPC is rising because of law of diminishing marginal returns. This is all part of the SCP framework. But there are some cases where you can't use SCP. This one. The second one means UBCC, okay? It's more of a once-off decision. <clears throat> For example, if a producer, okay, factors considered <clears throat> by a producer in deciding whether to merge, okay? If you are thinking whether the firm should merge, whether the firm should expand overseas, 
or in my book I had one more whether the firm should practice price discrimination but all these are once off you don't say merge with one firm merge with two firms merge with three firms it doesn't happen that way it's not incremental you can't do a oh marginal private cost it will sound awfully strange to say marginal because you're talking about merger which is wow, one lump sum right all the costs and benefits involved so instead you do a UBCC Hello? okay so if you are looking at once off decisions okay typically there's no diagram we don't really draw a diagram why because when you draw a diagram to illustrate the marginalist principle what then how do you draw this for total cost total benefit we can't and we don't okay so typically no diagram it's just a listing of points or listing of factors benefits costs unintended consequences and constraints so are you clear on the difference between the two there is one more difference which is a bit uh, small okay if you are looking at the SCP framework or the marginalist principle the MC or the MPC excludes fixed costs okay if you are looking at the rational producer in terms of MPC there's no fixed cost if you recall your market structure topic MC or marginal cost is purely variable in nature it's the cost of producing one more unit ma. so cost of producing one more unit you can't look at your fixed cost are you okay with that so it's purely variable but this is different if you decide to merge or you decide to buy over another firm you have to consider the lump sum payment <coughs> fixed or not fixed everything is inside okay so this is a, a quick illustration because if you 